Remove the nylon package ties. Remove the ceiling stickers. Open the box, take out blade and other components. Please read the quick start guide carefully before installation. Scan the QR code to download the EcoFlow app. And then remove the protective sticker. Remove the charging station's protective film. For stable and strong satellite signal, installing the GNSS antenna in an open area outside of the mowing area and at least seven feet away from tall buildings, high walls or trees is recommended. Place the charging station on flat ground with a slope less than 5 degrees. Connect B1 antenna extension cable to B1 charging station. Slide the B2 antenna extension cable through the antenna tube. You can turn the cable slightly during sliding. Connect the B2 antenna extension cable to the B2 GNSS antenna. Put the GNSS antenna into the antenna tube. Insert the fork into the ground. Connect the A1 power cable to the A1 charging station. Connect the A2 power cable to the A2 power adapter. Connect the power adapter to a power supply. Push EcoFlow Blade onto the charging station and the robot will turn on automatically. Blade's tail light should turn blue within 10 minutes. If the tail light does not turn blue, change the position of the charging station and GNSS antenna. Open the EcoFlow app to connect a blade via Bluetooth. After the product assembly is complete, please upgrade the firmware to the latest version. The update will take approximately 10 to 30 minutes. Do not move blade or factory reset during the firmware update. After the update is finished, you will get an app notification. Reconnect to Blade and confirm the status of the satellite signal via the app. You can manually control Blade via the app for practice. After completing the three steps for beginners, please pull blade off the charging station. Use six charging station nails to fix the charging station in place. 
If the soil is dry and hard, you need to use tools to drill holes before fixing the charging station. Secure the antenna extension cable and power cable with a cable peg every 2.5 feet. to prevent the cables from being cut accidentally when blade is mowing. Push blade back onto the charging station. Remove toys, stones, pet waste and other obstacles from the mowing area in advance. Set swimming pools, flower beds, yard furniture, etc. in mowing areas as restricted zone before mowing. Connect to blade and tap Start Mapping to create a working area. Blade will come down from the charging station automatically. Control blade using the joystick to drive around the boundary and create the first working area. The distance from the edge should be more than 6 inches. Please make sure that the turning angle at the boundary is more than 90 degrees and the slope along the boundary doesn't exceed 15 degrees. Control blade back to the starting point to complete the first working area. Manually control blade to the second working area. Control blade to drive around the boundary to create the second working area. Control blade back to the starting point of the second zone to complete the working area. Control blade back to the first working area to create a path. Manually control blade to the restricted zone. Control blade to drive around the boundary to create a restricted zone. Tap Start to start mowing task when the map is created. Blade is going back to the charging station automatically when the task is finished.